this time we, uh, we gather around the table to remember what God did for us, allowing his son to, to come to this earth. You know, we all have uh, friends and, and family members that tell a lot of stories. And a lot of times we, we hear these stories over and over and we go, yeah, we got it. We remember you talking about that. And, and uh, we have this Bible that we read, the good news about many stories of what God did for us with his son Jesus. And uh, at times in my life I, I think about what's, what's important. And I try to tell people it's my salvation and, uh, and what I'm going to inherit our inheritance and uh, we ask people when they're when they're baptized do you believe in the death burial and resurrection and of course uh, we hope they say yes and then they put on Christ in baptism and this morning I'm going to be reading in the book of Matthew I'm going to be reading uh, uh, about the resurrection and I'm also going to be reading about the great commission so in, Ma- in Matthew starting in uh, chapter 28 After the Sabbath, at dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him, they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where they lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the woman hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped at his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. And then in uh, verse 16, the Great Commission, what Jesus speaks to his disciples. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain, where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. I won't go there, but in the book of uh, Acts, where Peter speaks at the Pentecost to, uh, to the people, and after he spoke to them, they asked him what they should, what they should do. And he said that they, they should all be uh, repent and go, and go and be baptized. And there was over, I think, 4,000 that were baptized. And, uh, the, the Bible is a story of what we are commanded to do. And as he spoke to his disciples after he was risen, that was the command that he gave them to go out into the world. And uh, we're just thankful uh, for the many stories we have, and we're thankful for, for that death, burial, and resurrection that we celebrate today. Let's go to Father in prayer with me. That song that Mike led us in, Were You There? Put a picture in my mind, and I'd like all of us to go there. Christ was hanging on the cross, and he gave out his last breath, and he said, it's over. And then to prove it, they stabbed him in the side, and the blood and the water ran down for the forgiveness of our sins. Picture that, and imagine you were there, and knowing what we know today, what that was for. Let's go to our Father's prayer.